Hi there, so today I'm going to show you how to crochet this granny square shrug. You're going to be needing um, two skeins of Karen Simply Soft yarn, scissors, a five millimeter crochet hook yarn needle, um, and a stitch marker. Optional, but I do recommend it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. You're going to go ahead and make your starting loop. Right, get that on your hook and we're going to chain five so you're just going to yarn over your hook and pull it through that loop okay so go ahead and do that five times so it's one two three four and five and we're going to connect that last chain to the first chain with a slip stitch so just push your hook into that first chain space yarn over and pull right through both loops on your hook chain three okay and this chain three is going to count as a double crochet okay all right so now we're going to double crochet two times or two more times into the middle of our ring so yarn over push your hook through the middle of your ring yarn over pull up a loop you've now got three loops on your hook yarn over pull through the first two Yarn over and pull through the last two. And we're going to do another double crochet. We're going to chain two. Just don't forget that first chain counts, the chain three space counts as a double crochet. So technically we've just done three. So chain two, we're going to do an three double crochets again. Okay, chain two and do three more double crochet again. Chain two and you're going to do another set of three double crochets again. So this is setting up our four sides to our square. Okay. Chain two. And you're going to close this round with a slip stitch in the top of that chain three space from the beginning of this round. So slip stitch right into that chain, the top of the chain three space. And we don't want to start, we have to get over to this corner. We can't start a new square here. So we're going to slip stitch in the first two stitches. And then slip stitch right into that space, that chain two space. Okay, so now you're going to chain three. And we're going to double crochet two times into that corner space, the same around that chain space that we're working around right now. Remember, the chain three counts as a double crochet, so technically this is three here. All right. And now we're going to want to chain two and work another three double crochet in that exact same space. This is how we're gonna do our corners, all right? So this round that we're working on right now is gonna be all corners because there's no gaps in the middle yet. Okay, so you can see that corner taking shape. Chain two, and we're gonna go into the next corner and we're gonna work three double crochet chain two and work another three double crochet all right so you finish those two corners we're going to chain two and you're just going to go ahead and continue these same steps for these next two corners and then come back 
Okay, so now that you've finished with those corners, we're gonna close this round. So we're gonna close with a slip stitch in the top of that chain three space from the start of the round. And we're gonna slip stitch into those each of the first two stitches. And then slip stitch into that corner space. Okay, chain three. And double crochet two times into that same space. Chain two and double crochet three more times because we are creating our corner here. So just remember you're only doing these two sets like this when it's a corner, okay? Right? Now we're going to work into these gaps in between our corners. So chain two, and you're gonna double crochet three times around that next chain space which is between our corners. So we're only gonna do one set of the three double crochets here. Chain two, and we're gonna work the next corner. Okay, so you're gonna continue working these rounds the way that I've just shown you here in these steps. Each corner is gonna have two sets of the double crochets. Each space in between the corners is gonna have the one set of double crochets. And you're just gonna work these continuous rounds making sure that you um, separate each set of the double crochets with your chain twos, okay? You're gonna go around, close with a slip stitch in the top of the chain three space, slip stitch in the first few stitches till you get to the next corner, and you're just gonna keep on working your rounds as I've shown you here for a total of 15 more after this one that you finish. So go ahead and keep on working those rounds. Look back at the steps that I've just shown you for the corner spaces and the spaces in between the corners if you need some refreshers um, on these steps. Keep in mind with each round that you do, the spaces between the corners is going to grow. You're gonna have more of those, but the corners are the only time that you're gonna be working three double crochets twice, okay? In between, it's gonna be one set of the three double crochets. So just go ahead and continue on with working those rounds for 15 more after this one you finish. So you should have a total of 19 by the time that uh, you come back to continue on to the next step. Okay, so now that you finish those rounds, you should be looking at your work like this so far. We're gonna fold it in half, lining up the corners and our edges. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and close the seam so then we can begin working on the sleeves. So right now we're going to be working on just the seam that's going to close uh, right near the underarm. All right, so I'm just undoing an extra chain I had there because we're only chaining one here. All right, so let's get our corners together and we're going to go ahead and let me just get that back on my hook. So I'm gonna chain one. Then working both corners together, we wanna to be closing a seam, so we have to make sure we're working through both sides together. We're gonna to be doing some slip stitches here, okay? So go into that corner space and work a slip stitch just to pull it together. It's a little awkward getting it going. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and work our slip stitches in the first each of the first two stitches here, but make sure that you're lining them up each side matching. Okay, so slip stitch in each of those first two stitches, working through both sides. All right, and then you're gonna slip stitch around your chain space. Okay, now we're gonna slip stitch into each of the next three stitches. And then we're gonna slip stitch around that following chain space. 
and then one more time slip stitching into each of these next three stitches. Okay, so you've got your little seam here just closing near the underarm area. So you don't need a lot of space to close there. We're gonna pull up just a little bit and fasten it off. Now, any of these tail ends that you've got hanging around, um, whenever you want to, if you like to do it as you go or at the end, you're just gonna use your yarn needle to weave them in and out of stitches to hide them, okay? So for these steps that you've just done for this side, all right, before we go working on our sleeve, you're gonna go ahead and just line up your work and make sure that you repeat them on the other side. So you can go ahead and do that right now. Just repeat those same steps on the other side there, close it up, and you're gonna flip it around so it's not inside out anymore. And then we'll begin to work on our sleeves. You can pause the video, finish that other side um, if you'd like to, or you can just continue on how I am right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to do the sleeves right now and then I'll work on my other side after. So you're gonna put your hook into that first little space there, right near the seam that you just created. All right, so just push it into a stitch so it's a little bit more secure. Grab your yarn and we're gonna reattach it. So go ahead and make your starting loop. And get that on your hook. right pull it through and chain three and we're going to go ahead and work two more double crochets around this chain space and we're going to be working our sleeves just like we were working um up until this point but with no corners right so we've done that the ch we've done our three double crochet because the chain counts as one we're going to chain two skip over and go to the next chain space. And we're gonna work three double crochets around that chain space. <coughs> chain two. It's not a bad idea to mark the top of the chain three at the very start here with your stitch marker because believe it or not it is easy even though there is that gap and it seems obvious if you're on a roll you're watching a movie like what I tend to do you might overlook it and keep on going and have this weird continuous round out of nowhere so I like a stitch marker for this step all right and you're just going to keep on going and working your double crochets like this okay um two three and you're just gonna continue on. You're gonna be closing each round with a slip stitch in the top of your chain three space, just like you did previously. And you are gonna slip stitch into each of the first few stitches to get over to the next gap and chain three before you start the next round, okay? You're gonna keep on doing that for, um, continually for a total of, you wanna have a total of 24 rounds and then come back. Okay, so now for this next round, you're going to chain one to begin. And we're gonna do, uh, let's move the stitch marker up into our new chain one space. And we're gonna do a single crochet decrease. So you're gonna push your hook in that very first stitch yarn over pull up a loop push your hook in the very next stitch yarn over pull up a loop now you've got three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three we've taken those first two stitches and we've turned them into one we're going to single crochet in that next stitch single crochet around the following chain space And you're just going to continue on with your single crochet decrease. And then single crochet into each into sorry into the next stitch. 
and single crochet around the next chain space. So essentially you're doing a single crochet decrease and then a single crochet, single crochet, single crochet decrease, single crochet, single crochet. So, so we're now doing another single crochet decrease to connect those next two stitches and make them one. And then we're gonna do a single crochet in that following stitch and a single crochet around the next chain space. And you're gonna continue repeating this all the way around close with a slip stitch, chain one, come back. All right, so now we're ready for the next round. We're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna close my round with my slip stitch, I didn't do that yet. And chain one, move my stitch marker up into my next chain one space. And we're gonna just single crochet decrease all the way around. All we're doing is single crochet decreases all the whole way around this entire, um, this whole round here. Okay, so keep on going all the way around, close with a slip stitch, chain one, and then come back. Okay, so now for this next round, we're gonna half double crochet. So yarn over, push your hook in the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn, you have three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over, pull right through all three. All right, and that's a half double crochet. So we're gonna do a half double crochet into every single stitch all the way around. All right, so you're gonna keep on working your half double crochets all the way around, close with a slip stitch, chain one. And you're gonna do that again, repeat it for a total of four rounds of half double crochets um, for your sleeve cuff and then come back. Okay, so now that you've finished those rounds of half double crochet, you're gonna go ahead and just fasten off the end there. You're gonna use your yarn needle to weave the tail ends, like I said, just in and out of stitches to hide them and secure them. Go ahead and repeat all of these steps for the other sleeve and cuff, and then you're done. I hope you've enjoyed this pattern. Please be sure to like and subscribe.